Well, I'm quickly learning, folks. Yesterday was the battery debacle. Now I've arrived at work with all of my equipment. I've left my SD card, the memory card, in the computer. So I've got no card in the camera. I'm going to film this on the phone this morning. Number one is I have to run a cable, an Ethernet cable, from the top unit into here. So I'm going to get that done right away before Stuart needs to open the pub. And on top of that, if we get time today, I'm hoping to get this wire up by 12 o'clock. We're going to go across to Scunthorpe. I picked up a MIG welder for around 180, 200 pounds at auction. I hope it works. It's a big boy. I took a bit of a risk on it. I've got a couple of thermometer probes as well, like the ones that I used to have at IVB. So we've got to go to Scunthorpe and pick them up. But we have time. Right, let's get cracking. So the plan is to follow that pipe there to jump this bridge across to my building and then run the cable all the way along this wall above the top of that little veranda section there across that RSJ and up to the front of the building where you can see the cars up there and then we should be able to go into the wall and connect up to the Wi-Fi box I'm probably not going to get to see this view very often it's a unique uh, position so you can see the proximity of the houses at the back this is my unit and this one here is next doors that belongs to another chap and that's my office building that back section just there is the office building so you can see it's a fair size unit we really need to do some repairs on that roof though particularly in that corner I don't know where you can see because obviously the sunshine or the clouds are blurring it a little bit but yeah what a unique perspective here of course to uh, run this ethernet cable along this wall and past this flat window and then all the way down to the unit at the bottom okay so we've got the cable strung and it's running all the way from the pub into here that's what we've got left from a hundred meter roll not a lot so the next job now is to fit it to well in that order I believe so let's give it a whirl well I'm no expert but I think that means yes it works finally I'm back I've got the card Woohoo! So I'm thinking now is probably a good time to go to Scunthorpe. I've installed the new router at the unit. I just have to change the IP address so it is used as a slave and uh, figure it out. I need to take the laptop down to get onto the original router because I can't get on with my phone for some reason. I think I may, may have cocked it up. And then hopefully we're going to have time to get in the van and shoot across to Scunthorpe and pick up this welder and maybe have a look at it before we come home. Right on. Wait. Right, we've arrived in Scunthorpe at CJM Asset Management. And they've got stuff there, yeah, look. Right, I think he spotted me with a camera, so I'll pop this away and pick up what I need to. Right, invoice paid and they've given me a number to collect my things. That's everything picked up from the auction centre. I, well, I did actually look at them racks as well, but I decided not to go with them. So off we go folks, there we are, CJM Auctions, or whatever it said. Well that was quite a tiring drive. 
Let's hope that the welder made it back in one piece. I did hear a big thud. this off. So here she is folks, the Safmig 360 BLS. What do we think to it? Anybody have a clue? Now we can see the connections. It doesn't have a torch. It's got this three phase wire feed, DevStat D21 or DevSaf. On the back is where the connectors go in. <laughs> And there is the info plate. Has anybody got any details on this? Or a manual? Send it my way. I'm gonna have a play with it, clean it up, and see if we can't get it operational. Right, for those of you who don't follow the channel, and for those of you that know me by now, what do I do when I get something new? Take it apart. Let's check out what she looks like inside. And we can give her a clean while we're at it. Hello. Hello. What do you got then? What do you reckon? Very big motherfucker. Humongous. Humongous, all right. Some wheels as well. Oh, why? Well, you felt weight a bit. If you're, if you're struggling, it must be any. Yeah, yeah. should have seen me get it off a bar. <laughs> I'd put ramps up with scaffolding boards. Yeah. But wow, yeah. There's some power in this bastard. Definitely. Yeah, so just uh, inspecting it. I'm gonna ask everybody on YouTube if anyone's got any manuals or knows anything about it. I find the best way to examine high voltage electrical equipment is with a beer in your hand. Club Tropicana drinks are free. This is gorgeous. The wire feed. Yes. So I need, obviously, a torch lead for it and an earth cable there's no earth mm. come on hive mind help me out right we are home so we've got the welder at the unit as you've seen and I also purchased two other things. One of them is this thermometer and probe. Now I bought one of these when I was at Idle Valley and I know that they cost around 100, 120 pounds. This is actually a better one than I bought. She works. You can just about see that. So that is a bargain on its own. So I paid about 280 for all of these items from from the auction. So that's that's a hundred quid saved because I need one of them for mashing in. It has to be perfect at the brewery. And then, lo and behold, in the same lot comes another one, a different model, different manufacturer, but again comes with calibration certificate this one doesn't have a battery in it so I will test it tomorrow but I have every faith that it works so I've got 200 pounds worth of thermometers for let's say 30 quid because the welder was the most expensive item that I bought so I'm gonna edit the vlog guys get it up and then spend all evening looking for a manual or some type of instruction booklet for this welder because I really want to get 
the torch and whatever else, and the earth cable, any other accessories that I need for it, and get it tested. Because if it doesn't work, that's 180, 200 pound down the drain, whatever it was. So we'll see you tomorrow, and uh, hopefully we'll have some more info on this welding machine. Oh, and have a good Friday. <laughs>